What's going on guys, Andrew Pelikaki here back with another video. You guys can see the title, Ilya Mikheyev is out a minimum of three months. Um, basically, the Leafs put out this release la uh, this morning. Uh, you guys, if you watched the game last night, would see that uh, I believe somebody skate, I don't think it was he sure, uh, I'm not sure who it was, cut Mikheyev in the wrist. And it almost looked like at first it could have been a finger, uh, but it ended up being his wrist and it's serious. He left a trail of blood going to the bench and and you know that's really serious of course because of you know your wrist artery tendons stuff like that you never know uh what you could cut and uh, it can be seriously life-threatening uh so the press release said the toronto maple leafs uh toronto maple leafs forward Ilya mckayev was taken to university hospital uh in newark new jersey for surgery to repair an artery and tendons in his wrist that were severed during the game uh, team's game against the new jersey devils last night following successful surgery mckayev will remain in hospital in new jersey for further monitoring before returning to toronto the 25 year old is expected to make a full recovery but a more accurate timeline for his return will be provided in three months so that would be uh, you know, around playoff time, and I'm not really sure how eager the Leafs would be to put him back in the lineup, especially after missing so much time. Um, you know, it, it's such a bummer because Mikheyev has been having a really good season, like pulling up his points, and the points don't say it all, to be honest with you, and I'll get to that in a second, but he's 6'3", 195, 25 years old. He was like a match made in heaven for the Toronto Maple Leafs when they signed him out of Russia, of the KHL, um, because... In 39 games played, 23 points, 8 goals, 15 assists, but he's shown more than that. He can skate, he's a big body, he can hit, um, he's not afraid to be a little bit physical. Uh, sorry guys, my voice, <clears throat> I'm, I just can't get over this, but uh, Mikheyev is dealing with a lot worse <clears throat> than I am right now, and I'm sure everybody is, but it's it's really serious what would happen to his wrist, and that sucks. Um, but like I said, he was almost like a match made in heaven for the Toronto Maple Leafs. They were looking for that big body, a guy that can, you know, throw his weight around a little bit and is not afraid to go into the corners uh, and, and put up points. Now, you're seeing that the Leafs actually have a few of these guys. Uh, Pierre Engvall is a guy, uh, when Mason Marchment comes up, they, they hope that he can be like that as well. But Mikheyev has done it at a level where he can play in the Leafs' top six and be effective. I mean, look at last night. He was playing with Tavares and Nylander, and they actually looked really good. Their possession looked good. Uh, they got some points on the board. So, uh, it's just really unfortunate because... Uh, McCaff has been so good and being a rookie you know he's gonna have uh, a contract coming up at the end of this year as well because of you know he signed out of Russia uh, and it was just the one year but uh, because the season is kind of cut short uh, I'd imagine the Leafs and his agent will come to an agreement on probably some sort of bridge deal uh, on one or two years just to make sure that he can get uh, another contract I would hope the Leafs would push for two years probably something under two million uh, because unfortunately for Mikheyev uh, he, they can't really push for, you know, a bigger contract. Whereas if he was, you know, finishing off the year and he ended up with like 50 points, you could argue he could push towards, you know, $3 million or something like that with the cap going up and percentage and stuff like that. A, a nice little bridge deal in the, you know, two and a half to $3 million uh, range. But, you know, his health is, is the most important thing here. And the Leafs are going to have to find a way to replace him. Of course, Andreas Janssen is still out. Moore is still out. And now Mikheyev. Um, so when Moore and Janssen come back, obviously the Leafs will be at a, a bigger strength. But now you have guys like Engvall who will need to step up. Uh, and guys like, you know, Patan, if he comes back into the lineup. There's there's a few guys that really need to prove their worth, like Timishov, who's played good in, in, at points too. But uh, this is a tough situation. Soup is a good player. He's a big body. He can skate, and uh, he's become a fan favorite. He's a great guy, you can tell, and hopefully his recovery uh, is, is very quick because we all love him. So, Soup, if, you're end, if you end up watching this, uh, get better soon. We love you, man, and... Uh, Listen, man, we want you to stay at Toronto Maple Leaf if, if you're watching this, so please stick around, uh, and uh, hopefully we can see you in the playoffs if, if some sort of, you know, little miracle happens. We, we want to see you play, but your health is the most important thing. So I think Leafs Nation would agree on that. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Join the squad. Let's get to 7,000 subscribers. Enjoy the game tonight, Leaf fans. I'll see you in the next video or stream. Peace.